You want to cook fish that's not gonna stick to the grill? Check this out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I am your host, Captain Ron, big green expert here. Are you tired of cooking whole fish on your grill that sticks to the grates and you go to get it off and the skin's still there and you're missing all that beautiful flavor? Not only that, it looks like crap. Well, we're here to show you today how to cook a whole fish on your grill and not have to worry about that skin sticking at all. It's a top secret way to do it and we're gonna show you how right now. Now I'm quite fortunate, living in South Florida, it's like the seafood capital of the world. We get our choice of fish. I got this beautiful, beautiful hogfish here. A lot of people think it's in the snapper family. It's actually a wrasse, believe it or not, but it cooks up just like a snapper. White, flaky fish. They're so finicky, they will barely ever hook, uh, bite a hook, so they actually have to be speared. And if you look, you can see there's the hole right there where this fish was actually speared. So if you can come across a hogfish, I highly recommend it. Now, they're gonna we're gonna do a plain, Simple preparation on this. We don't want to overdo it. We want to get that beautiful flavor of that fish to shine through. But the problem is, whenever you cook whole fish on the grill, one of the biggest problems that we've had anyway, you see our old videos, is the fish stick to the grill and we lose all that beautiful tasty skin. We found a way to overcome that. It's this beautiful, beautiful grill plate. It's clay, it's enameled clay, so it's gonna hold the heat really well. It's gonna be like a non-stick surface, and it's gonna hold that fish on there beautifully so it will get all that beautiful flavor. That skin will still crisp up. We're gonna get all the advantages of cooking it directly on the grill, but on this grill plate. Now let me show you how I'm gonna prepare this beautiful fish. The first thing we're gonna do in our preparation of this thing is it's already been scaled, so all the scales are off it. So what I'm gonna do is, most people cut slits in it this way. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into a crisscross pattern so we get this nice flavors all down into that meat and everything like that, and get it soaked down in there so that we get tons of flavor for all the beautiful of this fish. Now that we've got it all scored like this, we're gonna do a couple things to it. First of all, I got these blood oranges. If you're not familiar with the blood oranges, they're like bright red inside and they have tons of flavor. So we're gonna squeeze this all in there, get that up into that meat. We're gonna stuff some slices into the fish too. We're gonna to put some um, herbs, we're gonna put some scallions right up inside there, get tons of flavor. Next step, we gotta put some oil on here. We're not gonna use oil, we're gonna use our trusty old duck fat spray. Flavor. This is gonna help with the sticking too. If Even if you're not using this grill plate, this will help with the sticking so that it doesn't stick. So cover the outside. Our next step is we're gonna open her up. We're gonna put some seasoning on the inside. So we're gonna put some kosher salt, garlic powder, and some good fresh cracked black pepper. Then the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stuff the inside. So we're gonna take some of these beautiful orange slices, and stuff them right up in there. Get them up as far as you can go in there, just like that. And take a bunch of cilantro. So you want some fresh herbs in there. Give it a nice flavor. I'm gonna put some scallions in here as well. So put that right up in there. So you got tons of flavor. This is all gonna help when this fish is cooking. All of those flavors are gonna come shine through into that beautiful white meat of this hogfish. And the last step of our process, we're gonna season the outside. So same thing, salt. See if you can get it down in those little cracks there. Plenty of salt on the outside. Cr fresh cracked black pepper. Folks, take the time, use a pepper mill, use the fresh cracked. It makes such a huge difference. A little bit of garlic powder, because garlic doesn't hurt anything, ever. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our actual pan with duck fat size. So we're gonna take this, like I said, it's enameled clay, and take this and spray it down real good. A good solid coating on there. Actually, we're gonna dry it off first. A good tip, if you want it to crisp, moisture is the absolute foe of crisping. So the drier you can get it, the better off you are. So we're gonna dry it, spray it, and lay it right down on this pan. Oh, that's gonna be so beautiful. And we're gonna cook some tomatoes along with this. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil, some salt, and again, some pepper. Just give them a quick toss. Get them all coated in oil. And we'll just put them on our plate with this fish here. So we're gonna lay some scallions across here for a little bit of extra flavor when we're done. And on to the grill we go at 350 degrees. Oh yeah. So we're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes like this. We're cooking at 350 degrees. We want your internal temperature to be about 145. So we're gonna cook it to about 140, pull it off. It's gonna have some carryover temperature. It's still gonna continue to cook after we take it off. And it's gonna be perfect, beautiful, white, flaky fish. And I can't wait to dig into it, I know that. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm really curious to see if this pan really works as good as they say, and it's not gonna let that skin stick at all. So stick with us and let's check it out together. 3,000 whoop. Who's later? All right, right there, 140 degrees, perfect. Let's take it off. The big
big test here is to see if this thing's stuck. Boy, it looks just beautiful. I don't want to pick it up because it's a white flaky fish and it will fall apart. So let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, this did not stick at all. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Whole fish, no stickage whatsoever. No skin on that plate at all. Now that's what I'm talking about. Whole fish on the grill, that's good. Man, oh man, that is really good. If you have, uh, you might have a hard time finding hogfish near you, that's okay. Snapper, cod, halibut, whatever you can get, nice white flaky fish, I highly suggest you can use this. If you can't find blood oranges, use limes, some kind of citrus flavor, get it going. That is absolutely fantastic. The greatest part, using this handy dandy grill pan here, no sticking skin. I got all the skin here fully intact on both sides of the fish, and it is good. Well worth it. So you can even try preheating this first. Might even give you a little crispier skin on the bottom. I'm going to experiment with it a little bit myself. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs up anyway. It helps our channel a lot. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. What's your favorite fish to cook on the grill, and do you cook it whole? All right? I want to know. Anyway, that's what we have for this week. Whole fish on the grill. No stick. Absolutely fantastic. I hope that you'll get out, remember to get out and grill, haha, <laughs> and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.